Good afternoon, everyone. We hope you guys are having an awesome Wednesday and happy Earth Day. My name is Kristen and I am the Education Director at Sea Turtle Inc. Now, we were supposed to be going live today at 3 p.m. Central Time, but we had a little change of plans. There was some nesting on our beaches here on South Padre Island today. So I am actually out at our corral where we are going to be burying some sea turtle eggs. So I'm really excited that we're able to share this with you guys today. Um, I'm out here with our conservation coordinator and our biotech. So you guys are going to be seeing what our corral looks like and exactly what we do whenever we get a new nest that is laid on our beaches. Now yesterday in our Turtle Trivia Tuesday, we did ask you guys, why do you think sea turtles are important to the oceans? Now we're gonna save that and switch it for today and tell you a little bit about why sea turtles are important to our dune habitat. So I'm gonna spin the camera around so you guys can see exactly where I am standing. The Gulf of Mexico is right over here and you guys are gonna see these sand dunes with all of this vegetation. Now, sea turtle eggs are really important to this dune habitat because all of those nutrients from the nests that they're laying, they help provide nutrients to all the vegetation that you guys just saw. Why is that vegetation important? Because that is what helps stabilize our dunes and that is what helps protect our coastline. Now I'm gonna spin the camera around so you guys are able to see our hatchery. So here is a sign telling everybody exactly what this is. If you guys look at this picture here, you will see what a Kemp's Ridley sea turtle looks like. This is our state sea turtle here in Texas. And this is the species that came up to nest on our beaches today. So we're really excited. Um, happy Earth Day again. I'm glad so many of you guys are hopping on already. If you guys are on, go ahead and type into the comment bar where you are tuning in from. Again, I apologize, we had a slight change of plans. We're going on a little bit early today, but I think you guys are going to enjoy what you are about to see. So I am coming up on our conservation department here. On the right, we have Mariana Devlin. She is our conservation coordinator. And then we have Emma Pontius over here. She is our biotech. And what you guys are seeing is they're actually digging cavities in the sand, and that is where we relocate our eggs. So I see a lot of you from Texas hopping on. I'm so glad that you guys are here. I also see somebody from Michigan. Thank you guys so much for tuning in with us today. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you a close up as to what this area looks like. So it is just a big hole in the sand that is roughly light bulb shape. And we do measure these cavities to make sure they are the appropriate depth that these sea turtle eggs are able to incubate properly. You guys will see Mariana digging that nest there, making sure it's the right depth and hollowing it out. A question coming in, is the beach open? No, it is not. It is actually um, only open for exercise, I believe, to people, residents here on South Padre Island. So in this box, both of these coolers that the girls have, those are actually the sea turtle nests that are in there. We're going to be burying over 200 sea turtle eggs this afternoon. So I'm gonna get a little bit closer here so you guys can see what these eggs look like. Sea turtle eggs are roughly the size of a ping pong ball, which you guys will see in a second when Mariana starts pulling them out. There you go. And that is a Kemp's Ridley sea turtle egg. And she's gonna stack those eggs in that nest cavity that you see and that is where they will stay for the remainder of their incubation time. Now, if you guys do have questions while I am out here on the beach, feel free to type them into the comment bar. As I said, we have had a few nests here on South Padre Island today, so we're super excited to get these eggs in our corral where they will be protected from predators. There we go. So a lot of people do ask us why we relocate nests here in this area, here in Texas. And there's lots of reasons. Our beaches are very different from other sea turtle nesting areas. Our beaches are considered open roads. So you're allowed to drive up and down to your heart's content in the summertime, which is really unfortunate, especially during nesting season. We have had nesting sea turtles get hit by vehicles in the past. And with all the traffic that we see here in the summertime, it would make it almost impossible for these little hatchlings to make their way out into the Gulf of Mexico. 
So that is one of the reasons why we relocate them to this big fenced in area that you guys see around me. It helps protect them from people as well as from predators. Now what you guys see in Mariana's hand is a data logger. So she is going to put that right in the center of those eggs and that helps track, I'll get it a little closer for you. That actually helps track the temperature that these eggs are incubating at. Now sea turtles exhibit something called temperature dependent sex determination. And what that means is that the temperature that these eggs are incubating at will determine if those hatchlings emerge as male or female. And that is also gonna help us determine um, the skew between male and female that we get in our corral based on the temperatures that are pulled off of those data loggers. Now I see a couple questions coming in. Let's see. How many nests have been found this year? We are actually gonna be doing an entire nesting season update here at the end of the week. Um, but we are over f six nests is what we have right now. <laughs> How long is the incubation time? It really depends, but it's gonna be roughly between 45 to 60 days. If you guys do have more questions, feel free to type them into the comment bar. We hope you guys are having an awesome Earth Day today. We know that everybody is stuck at home, but one thing that you guys can do to help celebrate our planet is just take a walk around your neighborhoods if you're able to and enjoy the fresh air. Put your feet in your grass in your backyard if you guys have that option. A question coming in from Crystal is if all the eggs hatch. Um, so it really varies. Sometimes we do have nests that come in that have eggs that are not fertilized. So those eggs will not hatch. Um, sometimes we have eggs that are hatching where the babies don't fully make it out of the nest cavity. Um, so all the eggs don't always hatch in the nest, no. But we do have a pretty high success rate here in our corral. Uh, I see a question coming in from Lily who is five years old and she wants to know how the sea turtles end up on the land and that is a really good question so during nesting season which is what we are in right now in South Padre Island those mama turtles are gonna crawl out of the ocean and come up onto the beach to lay their eggs so just like they use their little flippers for swimming they can also use them to crawl up onto the beach uh, I see somebody commented to help celebrate Earth Day. They planted some trees and some plants and that is awesome. We also see people commenting that they have sponsored nests. So that is also an option too. If you guys do wanna support our conservation program, we do have a nest adoption process as well as a hatchling adoption that you guys can do. Now, obviously you will not be getting that nest of sea turtle hatchlings or that individual sea turtle sent to your house. It is a symbolic adoption, just like if you guys were to adopt a star. And that information can be found on our website. We can also include the link in the section with the information on this video once I am done. How long does it take for the turtles to dig out of their hole? And that is a really good question too. Again, it varies. Some sea turtle hatchlings are faster than others, um, but it should take them about three to four days, give or take. Good question. Theodore, who is five years old, wants to know how many eggs are laid in a nest. So the species that nests here in Texas is called the Kemp's Ridley sea turtle. That is our state sea turtle here. And they're really small. They will actually only get to be about 100 pounds full grown and they will lay about 100 eggs in a nest. Now, not always 100. Sometimes it's a little bit less. Sometimes it's a little bit more. Um, the nest that Mariana is bearing right now, she's bearing the second half of it. This nest did have 111 eggs and the nest that Emma is burying has 96. 
Another question coming in. Um, happy Earth Day to you too, Marina. Will you try to go live when sea turtles hatch from their eggs? And that is a good question. So when we do public releases of our hatchlings, if we have the ability to, we will try and do a Facebook Live on that. Now, again, we're at the start of nesting season. So these turtles will not hatch out for at least another month and a half or so. Um, but if we are still close to the public, we will definitely do Facebook Lives. And even if our beaches are open by then, we will try and do those Facebook lives as well. A question coming in from Jamie, what part of the island do they usually lay their nest? And are there certain areas that are reserved for um, nesting or for nature there we go um, so they can actually come up in any area uh, if you guys have never been to South Padre Island before the south half of our island is pretty populated with hotels and restaurants and those sorts of things and the northern half um, is pretty wild area it is part of Laguna Atascosa Wildlife Refuge and there's different sectors of land that are protected by different entities so there's not development up there so that is usually where we get the majority of our sea turtle nest. Um, our driving accesses, our county access five and six, and we also see a lot of nesting areas right there where the public is able to get onto the beach too. A question coming in, any idea when the island will be open again? I do not have the answer to that. Hopefully soon. I'm glad so many of you are enjoying our Facebook Lives. We have someone tuning in from the Philippines. We're really excited that you are here as well as everyone else who is on this video right now. We're so excited to share the work that we do at Sea Turtle Inc. with you guys since you are not able to come and visit us in person. There's another sea turtle egg. <laughs> so Emma is done burying her nest and Mariana is doing the second half of hers. So we are right about done. If you guys do, I am gonna keep this video on until she is completely finished, but if you do have more questions, feel free to type those into the chat box. Everybody's pretty quiet in the comment section right now, so I'm assuming you guys are enjoying watching these little eggs get buried in our corral. If there are comments that have come in that I have not seen yet, we will try and go back to make sure all of your questions are answered. So Mariana is putting in that data logger that helps track temperature in our nest. You guys can see, I know there's a big shadow here, so I'm not sure how much you guys are actually able to see, but I can see that you can see the little eggs there off on the right hand side. Now, how deep these nest cavities are, if you guys look at your arm from your elbow up to the tops of your fingers, that is about how deep the Kemp's Ridley will bury her nest in the sand. And for those of you that hopped on a little bit late, if you guys make a circle with your fingers like this, it's about the size of a ping pong ball. That's about the size of a Kemp's Ridley sea turtle egg. So you guys will notice all these red flags that are in our corral. Those are not nests yet, but they did pre-plan so they know exactly where to dig those holes whenever we do get nests in the future. So hopefully fairly soon, all of these little flags will have nests in them. And these yellow stakes that you guys see, um, they do write quite a bit of information on these stakes. You guys will see the nest number there and then that 71 that is down at the bottom. That is actually how many eggs are buried in that nest. All right, Mariana is just about done burying that nest. I'm gonna take you guys out here a little ways away from them. If you do have any last questions, feel free to type those into the chat box and I will see them and try and answer them as they pop up. Again, thank you guys so much for hanging out with us on this Earth Day. 
We hope you guys are having an awesome Wednesday. Here is one of our ATVs that we use for patrolling the beach. When our island does open again to the public, if you guys do happen to come and visit, always keep your eyes peeled for turtles, whether it's a nesting turtle or a turtle that is sick or injured. This is our phone number. Of course, you can look this information up yourselves as well. But if you do spot a turtle, make sure you guys give us a call. I can walk a little bit out here to kind of show you guys the beach because I know this is going to be really relaxing for you on this Earth Day. If you guys have any last questions, feel free to type them into the comment box. Again, if I have missed your question, I apologize, but I will go back onto the computer as soon as I am done with this live and try and answer as many questions that I did not get to. It is very odd to see the beaches this empty, especially this time of year, but we do hope that this coronavirus that we are going through this pandemic slows down soon so our beaches can be back open to the public. But in the meantime, everybody keep your fingers crossed that we do have more nesting happening on the beaches. And the one positive that I can say about right now is that at least our sea turtles are able to come up and nest without any human disturbance. I'm gonna turn my camera around so you guys can see me one more time. Thank you so much for hanging out with us this afternoon. If you guys wanna support our conservation program or our cause, feel free to hit that donate button. We will be posting some links um, in the description section of this video too, if you guys want a little bit faster access. Thank you so much, guys. I hope you have a happy Earth Day, an awesome Wednesday, and an awesome rest of your week. We will be going live again in two days, so on Friday at one o'clock. Um, so feel free to join us for that. Thanks so much. Bye, guys.